Debo Samuel's not coming in for voluntary work. AJ Brown's not coming in for voluntary work. Terry McLaurin's not coming in for voluntary work. Anybody believe the Eagles are trading for these players? Because I don't. No. I don't. Not I, not with the wide receiver market. You know what's frustrating about this stuff? You're going to see articles and you're going to see tweets. Oh, the Eagles, they should go get this guy. I'm like, why are we talking about this? They don't go get these guys until they actually do it. This isn't yeah. 2004 where it feels like anybody wanted to come to Philadelphia. Or it's. I thought the Eagles would be more active in this second wave of free agency than the best they got is a guy who won a 110 meter hurdles race. Eagles have had some second itis this offseason that they were in on guys, that they were close on guys, that if Marcus Williams hadn't gone to the Ravens, the Eagles might have landed him for their number one safety position. What do we make of the fact? that they're in the mix for guys, second place doesn't really get you anywhere. Uh, why do you think the Eagles have come up short in a couple of key off-season potential free agent acquisitions? I think they're an attractive destination, but they're not what these players are seeking. Uh, I think Marcus Williams liked the idea of playing under Mike McDonald. And the Ravens are, even though they didn't make the playoffs last year and the Eagles did, Everybody seems to forget the Ravens were once eight and three leading the AFC before injuries finally caught up to them. So maybe a guy like Marcus Williams was like, okay, I get to play with Marlon Humphrey. I get to play with Marcus Peters. I get to play with guys like that. I get to play in this complex, creative defensive scheme. And oh, by the way, I get to play for a passion fan base in Baltimore. How's it going to look? I mean, I'm sure there are agents out there saying, oh, you don't want to go Philly, you know, the fans. I, I don't think that's true, but. I'm sure some of them are trying to point that in their heads. Well, you know, if you play bad, the fans don't like you. Look at Nami Asawa. Look at, you know, uh, Kiko Alonso. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. And I'm like, did you really go Namdi on us? We I haven't had Namdi tossed yeah, out there in maybe in the history of the uh, Birds 365. Hey, McMullen, have you ever brought up Namdi Asama? Sure. Yeah, I bring up Namdi. Let me lunch in my car. I, I always think yeah. of Namdi Asama. Lunch, lunch in the car. That's it's, Namdi. It's you been a while the... since we went down that I, road. I've, I've, I a got, lot of, got to a give lot... you the tip of the cap, Kurt. We had not had a Namdi Asama reference. A lot of my pandemic time. references are Namdi because Namdi, Namdi would have flourished in the pandemic when he had to eat by himself. <laughs> Every that, time I see a scandal kind of rerun on, I think of Namdi Asama. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, that's Terry Washington. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and Stephon Gilmore, like, I think Eagles have been interested in him for a while now. I think they were interested in him a bit last year when he was having his, you know, will they or won't they, the Patriots pay him, and the Eagles were debating on trading for him. I think he would have been great with Darius Slay. It's, I, I just think maybe the Colts had more to offer than the Eagles. I'm not saying it's... Everybody's kept more to offer. Yeah, what yeah, the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to hop in here. The Eagles were interested in trading for him last year. What did Carolina give up to get him? A six-round pick. I don't even then, then how interested were the Eagles? If a fifth-round pick would have gotten them here, and oh, by the way, why the hell did he even go to Carolina? They were already done, or pretty much so, at least in my opinion, and that's the way it played out. Not like he lifted them any. The, the Panthers weren't even a pl playoff team, and they got him for a six. How can you say the Eagles were interested in him and they couldn't come up with yeah. a six-round pick? To get the Eagles are becoming famous, guys, for the butt after the pack. But That's my point. We love we love Russell Wilson, but we're not going to take him in the second round. We 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 loved him. You know, I got Odell Beckham Jr. We had him graded as the best player in the draft. DK Metcalf, he's a top fifteen pick, but he had a medical red flag. There's always a but. The Eagles are this in. This is but. why Eagles got to hire Sean Payton. Last week he said, "Well, I would have drafted Tom Brady in the fourth round." Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I was the odd but, man at, at the table there. But yeah, there's so. always a but. And it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, Jeff. That's my concern. This team is coming in second place, second place, second place, too disciplined. Now we're talking about, you know, so the news broke this morning, not that it's news, everybody can figure it out. But as I said, April 18th, everybody can come in for voluntary work. Well, Debo Samuel's not coming in for voluntary work. A.J. Brown's not coming in for voluntary work. Terry McLaurin's not coming in for voluntary work. Anybody believe the Eagles are trading for these players? Because I don't. No, I don't. Not I, not with the wide receiver market. 
know what's frustrating about this show? You're going to see articles and you're going to see tweets. Oh, the Eagles, they should go get this guy. I'm like, why are we talking about this? They don't go get these guys until they actually do it. This isn't yeah. 2004 where it feels like anybody wanted to come to Philadelphia or it's – I thought the Eagles would be more active in this second wave of free agency. And the best they got is a guy who won a 110 meter hurdles race. Is that what we're. And now he's not retiring. He said he was going to retire from track. That was not. Not that, you know, people think Devin Allen's going to be anything, but. I mean, I'm almost ready to be fully disappointed in this draft. There's about 10 or 15 players I like in the first round. I'm ready for the Eagles to just draft Kenny Pickett and make my offseason a living hell. <laughs>